So to start for Ole Miss, Stout, a bubble screen, and it's trapped. Brandon Bolden in motion. Stout on second down and 10. Outside to Bolden, and he dropped the On first down from inside the 15, they try to keep it on the ground with Bolden. And he may have off with an ankle injury a moment ago, and now it's second down and 10. Stout out of the shotgun. Pretty well protected, fires one to the sideline. We jump in all the short routes. Enrique Davis up the middle. And he might have. Well, Janine, one thing we expect to be motivation is tonight on national television against the top team in America. Close to nine for Ole Miss. Five man rush. Stout tries to. Brassel motions into the backfield. They'll flip it to him. And the true freshman cut down. Sophomore from right up the road in Memphis, who was at West Virginia last year, comes on. Hands to Enrique Davis. Second and 25. There goes Brunetti. Now. Bolden. A hat. Bolden gets outside to the. They think their road to the national championship goes mostly with Jefferson. As Brunetti scrambled by LSU. Bob Oshusen, Rod Gilmore, Janine Edwards watching the second quarter open up with Barry Brunetti on third and 15, checking down. Now the fifth possession of the game for Old Miss. And Barry Brunetti under pressure spins towards the goal line and gets thrown down. Second sack of the season for Michael Brockers, and he gets him at the one yard line. Well, now count this, just counted way too much time. Your line can't hold up for three and a half seconds. That's a 13. They lose the ball in the end zone on a trap handoff. And it looks like LSU offensive touchdowns for LSU. Yeah, I don't understand this. Why would you do so much ball handling deep in your own end zone when you really haven't had much offense? You need to try and wedge that ball out of there. Play action. Brunetti buys some time, and he can take off. And he will. Apologize. It's just a question. Bad memories. Bolden. Tries to find his LSU has been anything but tight tonight. They lead 28 to nothing. Third down and long, and Brunetti on a keeper crawls for about. They want to get after you. They're not afraid to bring the pressure right inside, and Minter is the guy that can do it. They come right in a hurry and just disrupt this play. And when you've got the major, it doesn't make sense. Brandon Bolden looking for some running room and finds it down the sideline. Steps out of bounds. Newman polls love Carl Edwards. <laughs> Tony Stewart is huge in the computers, though. <laughs> Tough loss to um, Clemson. And Arkansas, as you mentioned, at number six, stumbling away. Brunetti to the outside, as last night's game will. Bolden. Nope. A couple downs to play with. Brunetti wants to put this one up. He'll throw it towards that back right corner of the end zone. LSU. Every other team he's been a part of. As Bolden looks for yardage and doesn't find. So that depth is important. Brunetti outside. Brunetti on a keeper. Gets to the edge and has the first down. It's not what he's saying publicly. It's certainly not what he said after the Western Kentucky game last week. Brunetti, bubble screen, going nowhere. Not even and he will be the starter in a big game like Arkansas. Now, if he isn't effective, 